If you like the TV show Friends, then you'll love the original called Living Single, which actually debuted in August 1993. It quickly became a hit. One of the characters, Overton, taught viewers how to not take things so seriously and always gave us a great laugh. Well, the man behind that character, John Henton, is going to be performing live this weekend right here in Southfield, and he took a moment to come visit us, and we are happy to have him here with us today. Thank you so much uh, for being here. This is so exciting to have you here. Thank you. And you've got quite a lineup of shows this weekend. Tell yes. folks originally, like uh, right off the bat, where they can find you. Uh, we're, we're at the uh, Punchline Comedy Lounge in Southfield uh, with uh, myself and uh, this uh, great comedian called Talent the Comedian, uh, one of the New York kings of comedy. Okay. And we coming in to the D, and uh, we got we got shows. We got two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, and one show. Um, kind of like a matinee you yeah, mentioned matinee on Sunday. Yeah, matinee show before the Super Bowl, you know. And, and speaking of Super Bowl, I'm, I'm so upset. Why? I, Tell I, me look, why. I know y'all might be a little upset. Oh, but, we we're upset. But but the Lions, it was 24 to 7 at halftime. I knew I was coming up here for the Super Bowl Sunday. I, but you Detroit thought we was going to be in. crazy. Yes. I ordered a Barry Sanders jersey at halftime. I uh, did Because I wanted to be dressed apart, and they ain't come through. But y'all, you got a great team. Y'all get there next year. You can say, save that jersey for next year, Yeah, right? I am. I'm right? aware. I ain't oh, throwing it away. I got it. Now, I'm going to keep it. So let's talk a little bit about Living Single. This was, I mean, we were talking during the commercial break. This was like the show back in the day, right? A lot of younger folks are streaming it now and watching it on Hulu. But why do you think the show resonated so, so well and so much with with folks because it was it was the first time that you saw like um, six uh, black characters everybody had a had a job it wasn't it wasn't everybody struggling trying to make it these are college educated people you had a lawyer you had a stockbroker you had a, a magazine owner you know Queen Latifah ran the magazine um, uh, Sinclair I was the handyman you know but mm -hmm. I was I was the most normal out of, out of the whole group but you had upwardly mobile uh, black folks doing their own thing and um, it was just a, a good mesh of uh, people and great casting because Yvette Lee uh, Bowser, who created the show, they put it together and they brought a great cast together. And I think everybody, uh, everybody liked one of us. You know, every time that door opened up, somebody's favorite character was walking. Now, in. how much of that character do we see in your stand-up routine at all? Because I'm sure that's that's how most folks. Um, Recognize you, right? Yeah, yeah. They um, they still call me Overton. I yeah. got an answer to it because I, I haven't met any other Overtons in my life, <laughs> so yet. that's me. Uh, but it's uh, a lot of the character was me. Um, I, I just took it because uh, that was my first acting job. So it just gave me a chance to um, expand on that. And I, I, it was just pretty much me, and I just put a country accent on, and uh, it just all came together. Now, is is any uh, of Overton in your your uh, your stand-up stand at all, show? or no? Um, for um, yeah, for the most part, like I said, that's me. I mean, I am him. So uh, it's, it's a lot of a lot of country stuff, a lot of uh, observational humor, a lot of a lot of stuff about like this week. I've been depressed because I watched the. Uh, did you watch the Grammys? I did not. They were okay. on, it was on. TV. I watched the Grammys for the first time. Tracy Chapman. Yes. Tracy Chapman had a, had a song, Fast Car, that came out in 88. Okay. That song is so depressing. And it, I, I, it would hurt my heart to listen to it. Now it comes back. I've been, list, I've been thinking about it all week, and it's just a sad song. And it's like, it's the most depressing thing. You know, like that song, Because uh, I'm Happy? You know, Because yeah, I'm Pharrell, Happy. Pharrell, you know, yeah, yes. that, no, that's, that's a great, happy song. This is not that song. This right. is the song when uh, when the uh, you're about to be evicted. You know that's that's when you play Getting that song. Getting your fast car. Doo, 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 yeah. doo, doo, doo. <laughs> when your car get repossessed. Doo, 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 that, when that's your the rent song. is due, so, right? You know. <laughs> All right. So really quickly, John, tell folks where they can find you this weekend. We're gonna put up that information too. Okay, it's a uh, Punchline Comedy Lounge at 29555 Northwestern Highway. Uh, building three, uh, number 312. Anyway, we there. two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, one matinee show, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, John Henn Talent, uh, funny show all the way through. Come on, get your laughs on, because, you know, we got to get through this together, Detroit. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Thank you.